Hello again, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about Canon T50 battery doors. Um, this is my T50 and a uh, common issue with these and um, one of you lovely people has been contacting me with regards to these battery doors. On most of these cameras the battery doors are the weak spot. Now assuming that there's no corrosion inside and you've still actually got the physical battery door, let me pop these in, you can see which way they go in. The one at the front facing the lens goes in with the positive facing out. And the positive is the one with the little bump on the end. And the bottom one, the one lower away from the lens, that goes in with the negative pointing out. Now on this particular camera the door is still attached. But if the door is uh, is completely off the camera, but you've still got it, or you need to get something, a piece of metal like a paper clip or a tin foil is quite a common one that people seem to use, although I don't really recommend tin foil, it's not I mean it's not a great conductor. Um, on this one it actually does fit. So on here you can see the catch on this is what normally breaks because they are quite fragile. And there is quite a bit of pressure. You're actually having to push these batteries down into there. So if you do find an old T50, it's worth checking. And you can see there that this door actually does stay closed. But if it does, if you haven't got the door, and just to show you that it's working, there you go. Um, my recommendation would be to use some tape. Um, you could use something like this is electrical tape which is super sticky um, that would probably do the job this is like um, gaffer tape it's the sort of thing that you use it's got like a cloth material woven into the tape if I can find the end of it there's the end of it so again this is quite a strong sticky tape oh. And like I say, it's got sort of a woven pattern into it, so it's quite strong. And probably a strip of this, um, if you just cut a strip off, let me grab some scissors. If you were to cut a strip of this off, for example, and either, you know, either the door or a piece of metal something to go across there the shape of the t50 body is ideal um sorry it's all everything's black on this and that black tape and black camera and you can use this tape to stick the door on it's not the perfect solution which would be ideally having a door that worked properly but to get a proper door you'd have to find a camera that's got a decent door on it that doesn't work that you could take the door part off but that would hold it on there. If you have to use something like foil or a paper clip, then maybe cut a piece of cardboard around there and then use the tape to stick it on. But it'll certainly get your camera camera back working. Uh, you can see this one's working quite nicely. So that, that would be my advice on how to solve the T50 battery door issue. And again on this one you can see this is electrical tape so this is quite sticky it doesn't have the uh, the sort of pattern it doesn't contain any sort of cloth or anything in it it's quite stretchy but it is a very very sticky tape as you can see that's the sticky side and again you can use some of this um, to, to stick it on there um, normal cellar tape I don't think things like this, this is packing tape I don't think that would particularly do the job well and sellotape you probably need quite a lot of it um, but yeah that, that's how you can um, stick your battery doors down the black tape sort of goes with the body but it doesn't sort of stand out other colour tapes are available if you want to have a fashion statement but uh, you find on most of these cameras the A series cameras are the same as well these battery doors are a weak spot and uh, so on this one we're okay because you actually have the door but if you don't have the door this is how the batteries go in positive near the lens mount negative towards the back and then yeah you just need to connect these two together that's all this part does i can show you that with this pair of scissors i just short those out 
you can see the camera's working fine without a battery door on you just need a piece of metal to short those two together and then your your camera will work and hopefully that will save you from throwing it out don't ever throw old cameras out and um, even if they don't work they're still useful for parts so I hope that helps and yeah that's how you sort of bodge through the battery door so that you can uh, get your camera working again thanks very much for watching comments questions queries and if you've got better solutions um, some you can put like a little metal thing across the bottom um, into a screw so that it holds it closed there's a whole variety of ways of, of achieving to get the camera to work but uh, if you've fixed this problem um, please drop a solution down below in the comments section because it's important that we keep these cameras working like I say comments questions queries down below like subscribe all that usual good sort of stuff and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one